In this video, we're going to be receiving a return on the fly via the handheld. So we've got our uh, app open. I'm just going to put in my pin number. Now we are going to scroll down to goods receipts. We're going to create a goods receipt and we are going to receive an unexpected return or sales order. Your customer services team or sales team could create a returns document, email that to your customer. They can print it off, return it with the item, and then you will scan the barcode on that returns document, or your customer can just send back the item. In which case, we all need to search for the sales order. So I'm going to search for a sales order. We've got both the sales order number 955, for example, at the top. That's the Stockley sales order ID. And then as we scroll down, we would see here Shopify order 1519 or WooCommerce or Amazon or eBay or so forth. So we can search for the sales order in Stockley or the sales order on your uh, e-commerce channel. In this case, we are going to search for sales order 1258. Just filters in real time. And then we can click on that sales order. We could add in our own reference at this point, but we won't. Now we could have a look at the items that could be returned on this sales order. Here they are. We could click on those items and we've got all the information about those items, including where they're stored um, and a lot of information tags, SKU barcode, and of course a nice big image. Now we can return the item to a destination bin. It's, we could scan it or we can look through this list and of course we could search the list as well. In this case we've created a bin called returns but we could just put it onto trolley one or two and wheel it around. We could also have a bin called quarantine or skip or whatever you need. So let's just return that into the returns bin. And now we can scan the item. So we've now uh, returned uh, one NIK10B into the uh, returns bin. Now, if I wanted to mark it as blemished, I could just add that in and that would keep the item in quarantine. And now we've created the return. We're going to complete this receipt. And now that return has been completed against the sales order. We'll jump in and have a look at the back office. Here we are in the back office and let's search in sales orders for uh, Shopify order 1258. Here it is. We'll just click into that. And as we scroll down, we can now see that one of these uh, NIK10B have been returned. If we come down now to returns, we can see there's the sales order that has been created, uh, the return against the sales order. It's all linked through, so we could click back to the sales order if we needed to. And now we've got a choice about what we do. So we could return the money to a credit debit card or via a payment gateway. We could create a voucher, give a cash, or we could do an exchange for the item. Um, we could also just send out the same item again. Um, in this case, let's uh, we'll return that onto a credit or debit card via the original payment gateway. That return has now been completed. We refresh the page, we can see there is the credit note against the return. And if we just jump back here to the original sales order, 
we'll see that credit note has now been applied against the uh, payment for that item and the item has been returned. And if you want, you could send a receipt through to your customer, uh, just showing the details. So that is creating a return on the fly using the stock app in your warehouse and how that information feeds back into your sales orders and the returns document in the back office, all in real time. Thank you.